everybody. Thanks for being here uh, for another exciting episode of On the Block. It is going to be exciting because I like everything we've got to cover tonight. But uh, here to cover it with us is Ian Terry. What's up, bro? Hey, how's it going? Thanks Good. for having me. Ian, do you want to tilt your camera down a little bit? Yeah, sure. Let me. Uh, Sorry, I didn't. Is that I good? Should, Much be better. better? Uh, yeah, you're better. It's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're okay, good. good. Um, all right, cool. All right, yeah, so, yeah. Craig, sorry, what's sorry. up? How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of a 24-hour uh, live Twitch stream. So this is hour four and a half or something, something. Hour four and a half. Yep. Oh, you we're started cooking, baby. at like five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's do this. Uh, where, where can people find that Twitch? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Chumlord. Uh, it's not up right now because we're doing this right here, so we're taking a little break right. on Twitch. But yeah, so that's what's going oh. on. But cool. uh, Ian, thank you for being on the show, man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Right so, all right, super spoilers. Obviously, uh, we'll jump into this. Uh, if, if for some reason you didn't know, Vanessa is one H O H. Johnny Mac was their turning juror. Vanessa nominated Meg and James, and James won the veto, which is pretty badass. Uh, and uh, I want to give a special shout out, not a special shout out because it sounds fucking hokey <laughs> shit, but like I'm just saying, uh, he was talking to the camera and he said, he said something cool. He was talking to, to his like daughter, Bailey, say, you know, they're trying to get daddy out and, you know, that kind of stuff, but they ain't that's built that way or something. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So, like, you know, that's kind of awesome. Like, we never, like, we weren't playing for no kids back home, but that'd give you, like, if you were, that'd be kind of cool if you were like, ha, you know what I'm saying? I think the most so, like, last kind of year thing. when like Donnie was winning all the vetoes, he was just like, look, I want him, mama. And, you know, like that's not even like as cool as like a kid. So Pretty on point Donnie impression. Uh, pretty great. Um, but I think James is like this weird guy. Like everyone I talk to, everyone loves James. Like he's the new Johnny Mac 2.0. I don't know. But it's just like it's crazy. And I don't really get it. But I guess like even with this veto win, it's kind of like solidifying it more in my mind. It's like this dude's like he's not playing the game, I feel, but he's there. I don't know how to describe it. Ian, what do you, what do you think about James? I think he, uh, I don't think he plays the game in any sort of strategic way, but he has like his own sort of social way of playing the game and he can win comps to bail himself out. It seems like, like he's had a couple of uh, clutch wins. So yeah. this is just another one. For sure. Well, like, okay, just devil's advocate here. What do you want him to do other than play a strong social game? Cause the social game has kept him safe thus far. He has never really had any numbers yeah. enough to like strategically yeah. get, you know, for James's will to be done. With the exception of uh, his HOH week, which really, you know, he's getting all his blood on his hands and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, if you remember, like, Vanessa controlled that HOH really even. I mean, like, uh, you know, Clay Clay went home and, you know, James wanted to keep Clay around to play with him a little bit longer. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, well, I would say that it's kept him safe thus far, but I would still say that, like, his position, even with the veto when it's not necessarily, like, advantageous at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. What's it, like he's saying that he told Meg that he was going to go tell um, the Oz twins, basically make a deal with them that if they save Meg, um, that uh, he will make it very public that and call Vanessa out that that's his target and will go after them. Uh, but if not, he's even suggested threatening Austin. Uh, as of right now, it's nine thirty six Central Time. I haven't I haven't seen it or read that he actually did that. But like basically saying if you if you do vote Meg out. I'm coming at you. Either you don't have me coming after you, or but like I mean I don't know what is that a strategic that, move? Or that'd be like play anyway. <laughs> it's an empty threat. I, I mean, but it's he's gonna. I don't know. What do you what do you think? Well, I mean, I don't think uh, I don't think that Vanessa or really anybody has their sights on Meg anyway. So uh, you know, I, you know, sleep easy on that one, James. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, um, like right now. Um, like the the Austins want uh, want Meg out, and Vanessa's gonna want Johnny Mac out. Why do they hmm. want her out? Why like? Yeah, of all people. Yeah, exactly. It seems like she's a easy pickup, or she's a person that's not gonna win much. Never gonna have power. Never gonna wield it against them. Like, why do you want to get out someone like that? I, I don't know. I I, I no, it doesn't make sense. I think they feel like that uh, in Vanessa's mind, and this is from Vanessa's point of view on this. That uh, you know, why would the Oz twins want to take want to take Meg out? And she wants she wants Johnny Mac out, so she doesn't trust basically her alliance uh, to vote out who she wants this week. Mm -hmm. Because like why like you know like why would why would like why would you take Johnny Mac out when you got a chance to do it again? He can win comps. You've got him up there again. 
uh, versus Meg. You want to keep dragging Meg as far as you can. Um, Vanessa's also kind of made it clear that she wants to take the Austin's uh, like Final Four, um, like hardcore. And I've only, I've got I don't know I've got a theory behind this, and I want to put it out to both of y'all. See what you think. I think that she's such a huge target that she needs to keep a another giant target there with her, but also she hasn't turned on him because it's important to keep a that three voting block in the house if you're that big a target. Does that make sense? Yes. Like you're, sure, if, sure if, you, sense. if you if you yeah. try to if you try to flip on the Oz twins and it doesn't work when you're on the block, all the votes against you are there. Mm-hmm. No, there's no forgiveness at this point in the game. Mm-hmm. So maybe she's going to try to ride it all the way out, never knowing when to take that move, and just hoping that at the final four. You know, yeah, she must be just praying for you know someone else to get it and try to take out the Austins. Like that, you just bring them with, keep bringing them with. Maybe. Well, I think for me, at least uh, the way I would see it is, I noticed that Vanessa seems to have a pretty good, you know, chance of winning sort of like these long-term memory competitions, and she has a pretty good, you know, edge in these memory comps. So I think if she gets the final four, I think she's gonna feel like she's sitting pretty no matter really who she's with, and she did put herself in a position where she needs those three a lot more than they need her. Yeah. And she really needs to just ride that out as long as she can, whereas they could just dump her at any time at this point. They don't need her as a number. No, I agree. I agree. No, she's – and, okay, the other day on the episode, she was saying that uh, she was almost like she was shocked to find out that she was like the low man on the totem pole there with the, with the Oz twins. And, and that's weird. And I kind of th- – I talked to her on the last show. I thought that was kind of stupid – like, duh, where would she think that she fits in that group? But, like, with her involvement with getting the Sixth Sense Alliance together to bring Julia into the game, to kind of be the go-between for both of them, like, almost like the uh, um, liaison for the next twin that was coming in the house trying to help fill her full information. Like, I think Vanessa, honest to God, feels like she's just as big a part of that group as Austin is, in her mind. I mean, does that make sense to y'all? I still don't see how you could ever really be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm you know, me and Julia, we're tight. Like, we're just, yeah, I, and, well, that does not make sense. That's and the I, thing is, go on. Oops, sorry. No, 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 go on. Well, I would say that it, it's hard to imagine that because given the makeup of the other three, you've got two people that are related by blood and by birth, you know? Uh, and then, yeah. you know, a, they shared a romantic womb. pairing, right? Like, yeah. it yeah. seems pretty obvious, right? There's no way you could ever interpolate uh, that in any other way or <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely I, yeah i i don't know it's it's smart for her to go with them in a way like because they are just such a big target and she isn't looking like a threat with them but the thing i think like i don't know if she, she didn't want to win this hoh i feel but she had to almost and now like with james winning the power of veto like he's gonna come down, and I think that's her biggest nightmare because now she doesn't really have she has the control still again, but like she has to like make an enemy, and I think that she <coughs> does not want to do that this week. I thought, yeah. you know, it's, I heard that she was crying in the H O H room, um, and I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, she's in uh, a very precarious situation, but she's good at getting she's good at wiggling like out of these situations and like coming out clean, very very clean. Uh, uh, so she's I think she can do it for sure. Uh, I was just going to give kind of a live feed update right now. Uh, they're all up in the jury room talking, and uh, I said, Urcher, Urcher. <laughs> I didn't know oh, Urcher, Urcher. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in case y'all don't know where that's at, it's a secret room. But uh, Vanessa is telling uh, Oz Twins, like, uh, is, is telling the Oz Twins that uh, either Julia, Julia will go up and Meg will go out, or John will go up and John will go out. Oh. So, and they're going to make the decision together as a group on who goes up and who goes out. Mm. Interesting. So, um, that if she was a pawn, she'd ensure that Meg would go. Um, Julia says, uh, she's a huge target. So obviously, you know, she doesn't want to do that. But anyway, interesting, mm-hmm. interesting kind of week because the, uh, that, that group of four, like, I mean, we were talking about them obviously, but there's such a, there's such a peculiar bunch because in, in, in some ways they've all been kind of going on this path almost together, but but I see their, I, to me, I see their end game completely scattering. Don't, don't, don't y'all? I mean, I, I think that with the next, after this double eviction, I mean, depending on what, I don't know what can happen that would potentially, if they're, if they're in there, they're just a juggernaut to the final four. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it really going either way, especially 
especially, it, it just seems to me that the Oswins should be realizing that they don't need Vanessa anymore, and that's an easy dump at some point. I guess Vanessa, the thing she has going for is that if it's a double eviction, it doesn't really leave a whole lot of time for, like, you know, planning, and errors can be forced during those for sure, Yes, uh, as, as we know here. But um, <laughs> the thing, all, all of us, right? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> but um, but I, I would say the other thing is, I mean, putting up Julia for Vanessa, I feel like that is just an absolute no-go game move. I mean, you're really just pissing off pretty much everybody because you're sending Meg out and pissing off James. You're putting Julia up, so pissing off Austin and Liz. I mean, you're really not going to have, have anybody left if that's the route you go. Hey, what are the odds that Vanessa survives this next double eviction? She can't play an HOH. Play the HOH. I mean, like, it's going to be tough. I really think so. And if I'm in the house, this is the perfect time to go for her because, man, I perfect. don't, you don't want, have to put up not, with her. Exactly. I do not want to sit yeah, with her in the house her, for a whining. week. Exactly. 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 I mean, like, if James wins his HOH, you know what's going to happen. If she didn't win that veto, she's toast. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just let's just play this out. I mean, we're fucking, we're speculating way down the road, but you kind of got to weave. You kind of got to weave ahead of the loom. Uh, mm -hmm. For this fucking uh, show, anyway. But uh, this is okay. Say James puts an HOH and puts a Vanessa up, and she uh, she wins veto. Who who's who's his biggest target? What's he do at that point? Fucking <coughs> James already has well, that fucking fly by the balls. Like let's ride or die. Fucking hoorah. Fucking I don't know. He's already got okay, that so attitude. You think Vanessa, like, you, so you think Vanessa will be on the on the block against one of them anyway? Probably. Oh, who probably, do you think? Yeah. Vanessa and Austin. Vanessa and Austin keep the sisters not mad well, at it. That's actually a fucking. I don't know what you do. That's a scary ass game. Fucking. Yeah. I, like running the numbers mm -hmm. against the Oswins is fucking just like. It just seems like I, an uphill battle. I, like. You I don't want to. Yeah, that's scary, man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think I think that's what's going to help Julia and Liz possibly get to the final two. The only way I would want honestly one of the twins to win is if they're playing it if they're at the, against each other in the final two. Mm -hmm. You know, that's. Do, do you think? Yeah. You, know, you do know what I'm saying. Like, think of, I mean, unless Meg's in there somewhere. <laughs> I mean, that's the only person I would, if, if if one of the twins are against Meg, I want somebody, I want one of the twins to win. But otherwise, don't you want the other, whoever they're against to win? I mean, Austin, Vanessa, James, Johnny, Mac, Steve. 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 Steve can't win against the twins. He Steve's shouldn't. the best. The, <laughs> Steve is getting more and more popular, though. I love Steve. Well, like, inside or outside the house. Inside, well, I would say both, but I'd say much more inside for well, sure. I mean, like, but like had, enough had a lot of people say they wouldn't want, they wouldn't mind him winning at all, and they even people saying they want him to win. No, I you know I, I like Steve, okay, but I, what we're saying against is one of the against one of the twins. I mean, like think about jury votes for one, Austin Ooh. and the other twin. That's two right there. So. True. I mean, oh, like, that's even I, I, think, scary. I think, I think, yeah, exactly. Dude, jury so, votes, holy shit. Yeah, I, I mean, if they're all, if they're all in the jury, <laughs> if they're all in the jury and pissed off, they could, I mean, p potentially. I mean, if yeah. for so, if you would be badass. I mean, if James, uh, James, Johnny, Max, Steve, hell, any of them outlast the Ostwins and Vanessa, but That'd that four crazy. would would uh, they wouldn't be the majority, but they could control most of the votes. You just need one or two sympathy votes or something else. There's no telling the thing what they about do. Steve, like we, uh, you know, we talked about like who Vanessa wants to put up on the block. Like Steve's name didn't even come out, even though we just watched on the episodes. They had this blowout, and Vanessa was so hurt by it. You know, it's like Steve is making his way in that game, and he's like turning stuff out, and he's figuring stuff out, and he's making games. He's 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 playing. You know, um, I think Steve fucking he's the best. Well, assess, assess, assess his game, Ian. I, 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 I actually have enjoyed him lately. I, I really have. I feel like he's kind of like gotten this nice position after being like just, just like on this like brink of danger for pretty much the entire first half. But he's kind of just like kind of wiggled it into us. He's gonna be like his name's gonna come up, but he's probably gonna be pretty comfortable for a good while. Like I would say he's looking pretty good for the final four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would I would think that's that's a strong potential for him, Final Four territory. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For sure. He's been playing yeah. it well lately. Because like somebody's gonna have to take that that first shot. Once you once that uh is volleyed across, then Steve's gonna get lost in the mix and there's gonna be no reason to to get him out. I mean at all. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's the thing is uh, I remember, like, and I don't think he fully understands it either because I know, like, he was, like, having his temper tantrum whenever he, he won HOH. But the reality of it was that 
that HOH that immediately followed it just became a game where whoever wins is just going to get Steve's Steve on their side, and and he was just going to be buried at the bottom of that that whichever side won that HOH uh, mm -hmm. for quite a while. So it put him in a nice position to set him up for a little bit of a long term uh, play. And I mean, even if he didn't want it, he played it as best as he could. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did. Uh, he's nestled himself down to a in a, in a you know, a, well, a spot with some legs. People are always like, oh, my God, he made the worst mistake ever during the double eviction. It's like Jackie's not back, and look it at him. He's doing bad. good. No, I thought it was perfect. Like, he he, he yeah. kept all sides appeased. Like, it was just really – it was, like, the safe and easy move. It was smart. I fucking mm -hmm. hate that outrage. I'm a, I'm a diehard Steve. Steven well, that's the thing Steve is head. I think, like, a lot of people think, uh, oh, you know, this big moves, big moves, this big moves, that. But yeah. a lot of times the big move is the wrong <laughs> But yeah, flashy Absolutely. play a lot of times isn't right, Absolutely. and I think that that was like a great example of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No. Yeah. Uh, there's so much. Uh, because we like the characters like the Doctor Wills and we like Evil Dicks and stuff like that. It's because like that flashy gameplay is interesting, and when it works out, it's awesome. But how many times does it work out? Three times out of seventeen seasons, you know, or six. Well, you know, honestly, if you look at like the odds on like the charismatic winners. I mean, for the most part, you get there to show your ass, and you got a really good chance of winning. <laughs> you know, if you think about it like that, <laughs> that's that's where I fucked up. I was too reserved at the point. <laughs> I should banging some pans. Fuck it. <laughs> that like probably increases your odds exponentially. Yeah, shit. So <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, it was it was like a Audrey's game to lose. <laughs> you know, just just out of. Uh, personality in the house no nah, yeah i think oh, that uh, i think that kind of stuff gets overshadowed or that overshadows a lot of other like really awesome gameplay that a mm -hmm. lot of people don't talk about or it's undervalued um we're sitting in the presence of you i mean shit and, well i mean the thing is that if i i say if you want to be considered good at big brother mm -hmm. go in the diary room and talk about how good you are at big brother <laughs> and, yeah, absolutely. It's just, and it's really that like i, I always say like if you're just really self-aggrandizing in there and and it just works out then you're considered good and if it doesn't work out hey if you went far you'll still probably be considered pretty good so <laughs> yeah uh just talk a big game and then if if it works out and you last a while then you'll be considered good and that's it yeah, yeah that's one thing that i love about under arlie. That's, thing I lo win. that's it see that's one thing you're i love about good. like like arlie on bb can too is that he was like they're gonna be putty in my hands or all this shit he was talking all this shit that they are and then he went out but it's like well at least he did if he if he like wanted and gone even farther it would have been even more masterful. So, yeah, hell yeah. Tip to those if you get them the chance to play in the diary and to get in the diary room. If you actually are involved with something that's going on, act like you completely thought of it. That's also called Zuckermaning the situation. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say the same fucking thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, shit. Um, but anyway, uh, what the fuck else was I going to say about that? A along those lines. Fuck. Ian, who do you got winning it? Yeah, who you got? Let's pick it. Oh, man. Uh, who do you want to I win? Who do you feeling... think is going to win? Who do I want to win? Um, honestly, uh, at this point, I, I would just like to see Johnny Mac somehow just, like, pull this sort of comeback off. But I feel I like it. it just – it's just not – it just doesn't seem realistic now, does it? No. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I actually could live with Steve winning because I feel like uh, – I, I always say, McCray, it was a great call winning HOH first because um, – it's just like who, whichever guy that is, is just going to have to put up with all the bullshit, no matter what. Like it's just it, it's not a game built for for those types. And uh, I'd like to see Steve win. And I'm glad that like myself, Donnie, Steve have all gone at least far. Obviously, you went far as well. So I mean, I like to see that. Uh, and I would I would like to see Steve win because I feel like it would probably mean a lot more to him than anyone else that's in there. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't even mind Vanessa winning. I think that that would be really great. Um, I mean, I don't who think do she needs the money, but now? for her title, think? calling it. I mean, I do like, I do like Steve's position. Yeah. Um, and honestly, the twins have a nice spot too. So give me one of the twins. Give me one of the twins at this point. <laughs> that's that's the smart money. Smart that's money's on one of the twins. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. it doesn't make a difference which one, right? No. <laughs> Honey Honestly, goes to the same place. You get a two for if you say that. Wait, yeah. can we just talk about one thing? The I've, yeah. I've heard people talk about the Vanessa 
offering money outside the house. Oh yeah, I've heard about this too. Yeah, what is yeah, your guys she takes told, on this? Uh, I think it's fucking brilliant. Anything you can do to leverage a deal. Vanessa is one of the best things that she's done in this house is but she makes how, really creative that's such deals. A great and and these deals are so creative they well, almost feel like a tangible currency in the house. If you tell Austin, hey, you know, hey, keep me in, get me in the end, blah, blah, blah. If I win it, I'll put, I'm playing a big poker game with the winnings and I'll split the winnings with you. Like, <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. Well, I think you she's know? made even more explicit deals than that where it's like, I have 20000 of my own money that I'll give you if you, I don't know. It's something more. I, I can't. I can't fucking. Um... Well, honestly, if well, she buys her way to the end, it's not brilliant. It's bullshit. But if it works, it's kind of cool. But at the same time, that's just like put the richest player in there and like set a precedence for they actually do pay at the end. See what happens. Well, the thing is, I mean, although that this people are saying, oh, no one's ever tried this kind of bullshit before. <laughs> um, well, the reality of it is like Boogie and Will were like the kings of kings of like this. Like, so uh, Shane, you know, I heard you want to be a model in Hollywood. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, if you if you play nice with uh you know, Frank and I, you know, uh, I think uh, I think there might be a, you know, a contract that might open your <laughs> open itself up, you know, or, hey, you know, Ashley, I heard you want a job, you know, I play nice with Frank and I, I think I might have an opening, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, these types of things happened, like, Will and Boogie were known for doing that kind of stuff, and people bought into it, like, you know, uh, in All-Stars, like, people were dumb enough, like, yeah, yeah, Diane, you know, we can help you out in L.A., you know, we can help you make it big. And people bought into it. Um, and that, that's not new. And then the other thing is, like, I've been saying for a while, like, collateral should be, to and for the same reasons a lot of people don't like this money stuff, although I'd say it's even more, I'd say that the money thing is even more defendable than the collateral thing because the collateral thing, you, it, you can hold it, you know, to the person, like, I mean, uh, for instance, like Janelle saying, "Hey, I'll give you my wedding ring." Yeah, yeah. You know, if I don't do this, you can you you keep my wedding ring. Yeah. And that I think is kind of um, I think that that's even worse because what's to prevent someone from just walking in there with shit, you know, and just giving it away? Yeah, a bunch <laughs> uh, of gold rings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's even. I think that <laughs> that's the next, that's, a, that's a future. Out. That's a future uh, technique, right. Big Brother. That's a future. And that's the thing is, Vanessa can say, hey, you know, I'll, I'll give you $20,000 of my own money if you keep me in. And then at the end, you just go, huh, that was a legally binding sucker. Exactly. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing to, to, to hold that up. There's nothing to hold that up. And if they buy it, shame on them. Absolutely. Is there, is there would, would you consider any reason for Big Brother to step in and try to regulate this at all? And uh, just, to, um, just to not allow it or just let it go? I mean, if they buy it, shame on them. I, I, I say let it go. I mean, she's yeah, under absolutely no obligation. It, I think the to only pay that out. The only crappy part is that it's That's, like I could never walk into that house and be like, "Oh yeah, it. here's I've got so much money back home." Like well, I could never and, do that. Look at my and, ass. That's true, but yeah. at the same time, but at the but, same but time, you, I mean, you could have could lie about it. But you could have a crazy people it's thought. Like, I'm a like, DJ. People, I'm a radio. I'm a yeah, you could tell you. You could tell them you're anything. Yeah. Like if if you never That's met, true. like your money could be just, you were just as good as anything else. That'd be awesome. So he's super poor, got in the house and like said they were just rich as fuck. We're like, I'm gonna give you yeah. two thousand dollars at the end. Yeah, dude, that'd be that'd be nice. awesome. Like, like that, that yeah. all fucking like and tell yeah. funny stories about like drinking like really expensive wines and shit. Just <laughs> yeah. total bullshit. That'd be awesome. Uh, Right. Anyway, uh, okay. you guys, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, hey, one thing I wanted to add, and this one I forgot uh, earlier when I was talking, and uh, but I remembered it. Uh, Ian, I was watching just some YouTube video that I found, and sure. it was um, Greatest Blindsides of Big Brother or whatever. Anyway, one of the first ones I showed was uh, Shane's eviction. Mm -hmm. And uh, just watching you in that moment, like you catch So me, good, right? That was so fucking that's good. So good. You know, the thing is, People always say it's like, well, you had no clue when you got voted out. You're running around pacing. <laughs> yeah. well, the thing is, you have to realize, right, like there was some some of that which was really good acting because the reality of it is the second that that veto got used, I knew that that was going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. I had to sit there and hold it in, which I was able to do. And I, I, I understood there was like a chance that that was going to happen. I mean, even the night before. Yeah. I mean, even right after the yeah, yeah. veto was played, before the feeds came back on, I said, you know, I'll play dead because I, I have a plan. It might work. It's like 20%. 20%. I was like, hey, I'll take it at this point. 
Yeah. But like, you know, I mean, as far as I knew, as soon as that thing got used, I was like, it's it's done. You know, I just have to hold anything in. So, and then, you know, obviously you want, at that point, you want it to look like you have no idea that that was going to happen. Right, right? yeah, because, yeah. You know, if your involvement in it just makes you look bad to any party. Sure. So. Well, that's, I just, I saw that man and I just, is fucking, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's cool to see that. That was the first time I've watched it since I watched it when it happened. Mm-hmm. And now that, like, I know you and watching it, it's different. It was just kind of cool, but it was weird. But I wanted to break that up for some. That was, uh, that was probably one of the weirdest seven, eight, seven hours of my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet, it, I bet it was. It was, it, it, yeah, I would say it was up there with the weirdest seven hours of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, shit. Well, dude, thank you for being here. Is, uh, yep. I mean, Ed Tulane Terry, is that you and yep. everything? Yeah, it's, that is. Still, still me. Yep. You, yeah. You're going to keep with the Tulane for a while? You got that brand? Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason to change it. No, nah, so, I don't either. All right, man. <laughs> you got to I went there. I graduated from there. What's that? <laughs> I went there. I graduated, you know. Fuck yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Let everybody know. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Wear it Thanks proudly. Man. All right, man. Spencer, Thanks. What do you got? All right. Thanks. Uh, I don't get shit. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, I got uh, Twitch. <laughs> I'm going to be doing 24 Chris. hours of Twitch. 24 right. hours. Twitch. We started at 5. Come over Ooh. and watch me on twitch.tv slash chumlord. I'll be there watching, talking Big Brother, all sorts of fun shit, giveaways, contests, all sorts of stuff and things. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right see you guys later thanks for watching on the block and yeah. uh thanks again ian subscribe yeah, yeah thanks for having all yeah, right later. um subscribe. see you guys